sat down and studied properly in so long and honestly guys i have a love-hate relationship with studying i've been so exhausted these past few days i don't know what it is like you know that heavy feeling in your chest where it's just like pure exhaustion like that's been me for the past week i don't know why but i've just been feeling that way and it's just really tiring i haven't been able to wake up early and i just feel so tired even if i sleep eight hours like i just feel so so tired and I have to like force myself to get up and I just feel achy everywhere but the sun came out today so I was like I need to force myself to sit down and just get it done so that's what I'm gonna do today I just ordered some uber eats because I was just calculating my time like going out getting the food versus staying home getting the food honestly it's more worthwhile my time just to order the food in also you guys have been telling me my cats are getting so big and I know they're getting so ginormous I posted them on Instagram because I came back from Bali like not too long ago that vlog isn't up yet by the way ah mistakes I know they're so much bigger like it's actually insane I'm actually kind of excited for them to get like full size they're not full sized yet um, they were so tiny before, guys. I, I changed my um. I Bro, I need to change my controller. This is Clint's ramen, but I'm going to try it because it just looks too good. Oh my god. I got a UF. I don't think anyone's around, that's it. I'm going to pop that, yeah. Alright, look, he's using my gun. I also got these two sushis. Salmon and avocado roll. Cucumber and baby roll. Clint's mom got us these cute little sauce plates. <laughs> look how cute that is. It looks like the mitts. Oh, whatever. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, she's got living quarters. I've been crunching down hard on my work. Mm. and let me tell you i am so tired but i've got a lot done i have my list of things i had to get done today and 
they're all pretty much done which i love i always plan and schedule my days as you guys know you guys see in my notion and you guys always 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 ask me can you please do a notion tour and guys today is a day i just want to say thank you to you guys first of all for watching my videos notion has sponsored today's video so thank you so much to them as well this is a dream come true because i freaking love notion it is literally a part of me and my routine i use across my personal life daily life work life notion helps me do more of what actually matters because i can manage all of my tasks in one place you can customize your notion which i've done myself and you guys keep asking me to show you guys so i will show you guys how i did that i started working full-time a few years ago now and now more than ever notion has given me order and peace of mind i also manage my small business and any other projects that i take on in the one space so that's crazy i also use it with my friends like we plan our trips with it too which i'll show you guys in a sec so now onto my notion tour i'm just going to show you guys like the main parts of my notion so this is my home page and all of my gifts by the way i just get from pinterest i'll just like search up stuff like anime clips and they'll come up and same with this little icon right here with the cat and then we scroll down i just have like this general goals thing i have like a more in-depth goals folder i have affirmations i'm happy i can balance life i'm not stressed eating well i just change that depending on how i feel though and then we have this little widget here which the widgets you can download from external apps i'll show you guys where to get these in a sec but yeah i have this one right here it just shows you like year month week day you can like change it according to like what you want to see and then i have a calendar down here which hasn't synced properly to my other calendar so there's like nothing in my calendar anyways we have a daily over here which are just some personal things like my weekly agenda monthly agenda personal finances notes and then we have down here life so reset with me yearly goals for last year yearly goals for this year travel plans date night anime list meal plan general thoughts they have work which is youtube content calendar the plan brand timeline the plan brand roadmap meeting notes finances work ideas crypto meeting notes youtube and then uni um basically these all link to different pages so for example if i click on weekly agenda it'll take me to this page right here and this is my weekly planner which i use i change everything on here week to week as you can see i have goals this month and then this month's collabs oh i did not spell that right I go as the days go by. Um, sometimes I have like my entire week planned out, sometimes I don't. Next, this is my content calendar. I love this part. So yeah, this is all of like my video plans. So ideas that I have and then in progress. Um, then I have my Bali videos, which got a little bit messy actually. I just moved some stuff over. Um, we have this month videos that I'm planning, finished filming, in edit, monthly publish, and then previous uploads down here. So those are all my videos and then within each of these i plan out like what i'm doing and also like for example this one i have like all of the days and the costs and stuff sometimes i'll like write notes then i have other things like journal tiktok youtube pet project pretty and then course schedule which is like uni so where i get the widgets from is from this website called indify you can get a bunch of different widgets you can see google calendar and connect that which is what i have countdowns all these different things which is super cool so you just sign up and then afterwards you can just like download everything accordingly i'll show you guys how to make like a new doc so for example you add a page depending on what you want to do you can personalize it so see they have design ones student related i use this one when i was traveling with ness i'll show you guys what our travel plan looked like pretty and ness usa so as you can see we literally used everything and then customized like a few features that we wanted ourselves we literally categorized everything like this is like la and then this map below with a bunch of food recommendations that ness put together so yeah that was my notion i'm gonna have a link down below for you guys so you can sign up to notion for free you can try creating a new team workspace or try inviting a team member to join your notion page thank you so much to notion again and i'm just gonna continue studying
in the afternoon because they're so cute. And this right here, this is Nubbles. She's getting a bit bigger as well. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Calico cats are considered good luck in Japan. Um, and which is why there's that lucky cat with like the hand if you've ever seen that before in like restaurants and stuff um, Yeah, that's meant to be like a calico cat and they're good luck And Knuckles, your mommy's good luck charm Apparently it takes me an entire freaking day to like drink my tea. I just like drink so slowly, I don't know what it is, but like I could drink one cup of coffee or like I don't really drink that much coffee, but like a latte for like the whole day until it gets cold. I wanted to chat with you guys because I feel so... What is this angle though? I don't know if I like this angle. I wanted to chat with you guys because I feel like I haven't spoken to you all in like so long. A lot has been on my mind. Like I was saying earlier, I've been really tired. Knitting is like one of my new hobbies and I'm trying to make a blanket. So that's an update for you guys. Yeah, I've just been feeling so tired recently. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I've just been like overwhelmed. Maybe it's the weather as well. Like honestly, winter sucks. Like I hate winter. Um, today is like the only sunny day that, you know, has occurred in like the past week and i'm just trying to manage my emotions and it's weird i feel like also i've been thinking a lot about like how i don't go out a lot and like have fun i'm like wait why am i such a boring person and i think i've talked about this before but yeah i'm not really like i don't go out that much guys i like don't really <laughs> do anything like i don't really like to drink that much if i do like i would love to do it with like some girlfriends and stuff but i just don't have those types of friends at the moment like that go out all the time i used to but then i you know like life happens and you drift but yeah like i don't have those types of friends so like i'm very much like a homebody girl i don't know because i know how unproductive it is if that makes sense and also it's always more fun like it always looks more fun and sounds more fun than it actually is i remember even when i went out like those nights it would be like selective nights that were like particularly fun otherwise it really felt like we were just going out to drink for like no particular reason and so i'm trying to justify myself right now like why do i feel this kind of feeling of like fomo almost i'm like oh my gosh i'm still young but i feel like i've grown up really fast and yeah i'm just like i don't know if i want to take a step back or not like take a step back in terms of like just try to have fun but i don't know if i like having that kind of fun if that makes sense so i'm like really conflicted with myself right now and it's been something really hard for me to admit because um i i know like i've achieved a lot at this point for my age and I know like the path that I want to go on and my plans in the near future so it just sucks that these feelings like that to me feel really irrelevant and so insignificant have like taken over my mind I'm like this is so dumb like why am I thinking about this like why do I feel FOMO but yeah I want to talk to you guys about it because I know a lot of you guys probably feel that way too and I just want to say don't <laughs> don't feel that way it's okay um if you want to go out with friends i've been trying to like just take initiative and be like hey like do you want to hang out i'm not the type of person who has lots of friends like like true true friends like i genuinely love seeing people and i used to be very much like a i love going out seeing mutuals like essentially i would be like these are all my friends <laughs> but then i came to a peak realization which this might be really harsh but i remember when i was in hospital after i had my surgery and I've never admitted this or told anyone before, but like just no one was there for me, which is strange because I'm honestly like I'm a very strong person. I don't need anyone's support in that way. Like I, I don't like want people to pity me per se or anything like that because, you know, I feel like like I am a strong person. I don't need that. But saying that, it just felt weird because I thought that 
that that was what your friends are supposed to be there for. And so, I don't know, I've been really conflicted. Maybe resentment even. I feel like a little bit of resentment and also like bitterness because I just never understood. I'm like, wait, like I poured so much energy and love into like particular friendships or just friendships in general and I cared so much for people and then when something like that happened in my life and it was a really big moment for me and you know just nobody was there for me apart from my family i became extremely resentful towards people just overall because i was like nobody's gonna actually be there for you regardless of how deep you thought a friendship was etc which isn't true at all i think like obviously each friendship is different and like sometimes maybe it's like you just don't see eye to eye at like the same level you thought a particular friendship was but yeah, that I felt like had a heavy burden on me because it really impacted the way I saw friendships for a long time. And by the way, I had my surgery like two years ago now almost um, and it was for my thyroid. So I had my thyroid removed. I had a cancer tumor. So yeah, that was not a fun time. Um, and a lot of people don't know that actually who are new to my channel because I do have this lovely scar. And yes, I'm okay now. I'm more than okay, I just take medication and I had all my treatments and everything. But yeah, it's just weird because during such a traumatizing and emotional time, I just felt like no one was there for me and I was so sad. Genuinely, I felt like I was in a state of depression. I was just crying a lot after the surgery happened, although I was just like working really hard as well because I just like pushed on, right? I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna consume myself in work because <laughs> what else is there? Like if there aren't genuine relationships, then I like, that made me extremely grateful for my family. Not that I have not been <laughs> grateful for my family, but it made me even more grateful for my family. It still has like a cuckold over me, like in terms of my relationships with people because I just don't see anything the same way anymore, <laughs> which is kind of sad, right? I think it's just like, a growth thing and over time but it, it opened my eyes like a lot I spent so much time like nurturing like friendships and everything for a very long time especially even high school me like i felt like such a people pleaser and yeah there's just no point like it doesn't matter you know i think it's like recognizing like what type of friendships that you have as well with those people in those relationships because honestly now it's like i don't want to waste my time if that makes sense Especially when it comes to like care, compassion, like empathy, support, like all those things. I'm like, no, like those are the only type of people I want in my life. That got a little deep. I don't know if I'm even going to include that clip because that's just like something I've just really been keeping to myself and it's been bothering me for like so long now. Yeah, I did an anonymous Q&A on Instagram and a lot of people were asking about this friendship topic because they were talking about how do you let go of toxic people? Like, like I don't have that many friends. I only have like three friends and you know what? That is so normal. Like... I literally only have like a few friends, like a handful of friends who I genuinely would say like they're my friends. I feel so lucky that I've met these people now because I was in a really dark place like like a year or two ago. You might have been able to tell on my channel, but I don't know. I just like carried on, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what, like life goes on. But I really buried a lot of like feelings and I wanted to see a therapist, but I was also like, why would I pay a therapist to listen to my issues? It's not how you look at it, but that's just how I thought of it, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, okay, I literally know what my issues are. I know why and where they stem from. And I don't need to see a therapist. I also don't want to pay for a therapist. So I was like, no, thank you. It was extremely hard because I felt so lonely. Like, I was so lonely. I felt like no one understood me. No one wanted to understand me. No one was there for me. Apart from, of course, like, my family, which, like, is more than enough, of course. But still, like, I just, you know, I thought I had people who are my rocks for life. Sorry, this is like literally like a therapy session with you guys. I need to stop getting so deep, but I'm just trying to say that you can have friends who you do different activities with, friends who you just have fun times with, friends that, you know, you just catch up with because maybe you went to school together. And then, you know, your bestest friends, close friends, work friends, etc. Like you don't need to have friends like mished all together into like one group like that. That honestly, like, it's too complicated for me. I feel like that doesn't work. I rather have friendships one-on-one -on -one with people, to be honest. Group situations are a bit daunting to me because there's a lot of drama. If you've ever been in a group of friends, particularly females, um, it, it gets very clicky and it gets very, like, not catty even. It's just, like, very drama-filled. Like, I know a lot of people with a lot of drama still, and I'm like, 
<laughs> I am living drama free. That's my best advice. It's just have friends in different groups and you know for different reasons and that you do different activities with. You're not obliged to like mix them all together and you can be more yourself. I feel like whenever I'm in a group bigger than one on one, like I feel like I can't be myself exactly depending on how I am with that particular person. I feel like I adapt according to like a personality type that I come across. I'm um, not too extremely, like I'm still very much myself. It's just that I adapt a little bit, if that makes sense. Thanks for coming to my therapy session with you guys. I'm so determined to make this blanket, but like it's gonna take so long. Look at this. I'm only, I only have like three squares. I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm sick of hearing my own 